an ongoing effort to continue implementation of the Beachmont Corridor Plan, the award-winning study that has resulted in wayfinding signage, turn lanes, landscaping, the greening of the roadway, pedestrian and bicycle improvements, and other enhancements along Beachmont Avenue over the past 15 years, Anderson Township, in conjunction with the Ohio Department of Transportation and the Hamilton County Engineer's Office, want you to consider a new, unusual traffic flow concept called a Continuous Flow Intersection, or CFI, which has been selected for Beachmont Avenue, State Road 125, and Five Mile Road. A Continuous Flow Intersection is a new and unusual design concept. In this video, we'll show you a little bit more on how it works. But first, let me explain why it's needed. Hi, I'm Steve Sievers with Anderson Township, working with the Ohio Department of Transportation and the Hamilton County Engineer's Office to make the intersection of Beachmont and Five Mile Road a safer place. Beachmont Avenue, State Road 125, is the lifeblood of our community. It's the main traffic artery from east to west from the city of Cincinnati into Claremont County and Interstate 275. It is also the township's primary business corridor, home to several million square feet of office, retail, and restaurant uses. Five Mile Road serves a similar important role in the community, connecting a Anderson Township, Mercy Hospital, and the Anderson Town Center, as well as Beachmont Avenue and the central part of the township with Interstate 275. The crossing of these two important roadways is suffering from impaired circulation. The flow of traffic on both roadways and the streets bringing traffic to them have become more congested and will only get worse with no action and continued redevelopment in the core of our community, a primary goal of the Anderson Township Comprehensive Plan. Anytime a traffic light stops traffic on Beachmont Avenue to allow side street traffic to flow across or onto Beachmont, the flow slows. The Five Mile Road intersection, a major feeder into Beachmont, is a fine example. At busy times on Five Mile, motorists may have to wait two or sometimes even three cycles to make a left-hand turn. Lengthening the five mile turn arrow helps these drivers, but it's at the expense of Beachmont Avenue traffic. With a conventional left turn and arrow system, everyone else at the intersection sits and waits while a few cars make their left turns. Plus, there's a dead time when the left turners are stopping and the through traffic has not yet started. No cars are moving anywhere then. With a CFI arrangement, left turners and through traffic are moving simultaneously in both directions, and the left turn dead time is eliminated. Let me show you how this works. The animation you are about to see was produced for a CFI intersection in Salt Lake City, Utah, which opened in 2008. However, imagine this as the intersection of Beachmont and Five Mile Roads looking north. For orientation purposes, the building at the bottom left corner would be PNC Bank, with BP being to the upper left, IHOP to the upper right, and the Anderson Health Plaza being to the bottom right. This animation is slightly different from the Beachmont and Five Mile situation, as currently there are two through lanes on both roadways, which won't change. Also, with the CFI, there will only be one turn lane from Five Mile to Beachmont, where two are displayed in this animation. Making a left turn in the CFI will be as easy as one, two, three. Let's take a quick look. Step one, if you are heading north, looking to turn west or left onto Beachmont, you enter the left turn lane and stop at the traffic light, but a bit further back from the intersection. Step two, when the left turn light turns green and a red light is displayed for any leftover oncoming traffic, you cross the empty southbound through traffic lanes and enter a protected left turn approach on the other side of the roadway. Step three, you'll reach the intersection. Another left turn signal will turn green and you will turn left across Beachmont Avenue. At the same time, straight traffic flows across the intersection. Oncoming right turn traffic will be stopped initially to allow the flow of traffic into both lanes including those vehicles that are seeking to make a right-hand turn into a business on the other side of the road. Now let's look at this as if you are making a left turn from westbound Beachmont onto southbound Five Mile Road. In this scenario, the Anderson Health Plaza would be on your left. Making the left turn is the same as a normal intersection. Again, this model shows two turn lanes where only one exists currently and no additional lane is proposed. The only difference with the CFI intersection is that you'll need to watch for another light just past the intersection. In heavy travel times, one or two of the last vehicles may be stopped by a red light heading southbound on Five Mile. This is the light that we saw earlier, which allows left turning cars to turn safely in front of you. Making a right turn from Beachmont to Five Mile, such as this example from eastbound Beachmont to southbound Five Mile, where PNC is on the left side of this animation, will be really easy. Just make your turn, merge with traffic, and keep right on moving. 
In fact, there will only be a red light at the intersection to stop this turning movement when a pedestrian activates the crosswalk light and seeks to cross the intersection. CFI intersections are in use in many communities, including Salt Lake City and Baton Rouge, and are being planned for construction in a growing number of locations. In fact, the first one in the Midwest has recently been constructed just south of Dayton, Ohio, on State Road 747. More than 20 such CFI intersections exist in Mexico. Do people in these other communities like the CFI? In Baton Rouge, when surveyed after the intersection was up and running, nearly 90% of survey respondents said traffic conditions were better with the improvements. Similar responses have been seen in other communities. These days, it's hard to get even 60% of folks, let alone 90%, to agree about anything. Beyond public opinions, CFIs work, and this is a large reason for their growing application in a number of communities nationwide. So how much will this intersection redesign cost? About the same as the typical intersection. However, the impacts on surrounding property owners like these will be less than it would be for a traditional roadway widening. Less land is needed, and actually there's less ongoing maintenance costs since there's fewer travel lanes than there would be with a typical roadway expansion. A continuous flow intersection at Beachmont and Five Mile will mean the following for motorists and pedestrians. Number one, no more long waits for five mile left turners. Second, all the five mile vehicles require less time since turning and straight traffic will move at the same time. This in turn allows more green light time for everyone, including those on Beachmont. Third, the new intersection design will result in fewer angle types of accidents, which tend to be more dangerous. Finally, the intersection accommodates pedestrians who are currently prohibited from crossing three of the roadways at Beachmont and Five Mile. The new median areas will also provide refuge locations for these pedestrians and additional sidewalks that will be constructed on the south side of Beachmont in this area will connect Forest Road to Shangri-La Drive and existing sidewalks along those areas. A continuous flow intersection at Beachmont and Five Mile will mean the following for businesses. First, less impact as a smaller amount of land is needed than a traditional roadway widening. Second, less traffic congestion and improved business environment. Finally, greater safety for customers and motorists in the area. Overall, there are major benefits for Anderson motorists and local businesses alike. So when will this be built? Construction is scheduled to begin by the summer of 2013 and will be completed later that year. But there are many steps ahead before the shovels hit the ground, including continued opportunities for the public to learn more and offer comments and suggestions. We will keep you informed. In the meantime, drive safely and friendly, and thanks for watching.